a North Carolina politician is sharing a very interesting story involving Twitter and its ads policy. Now, everyone knows that Twitter is bleeding ads and has lost many of its advertisers. And if you go and refresh quite a bit on Twitter, you'll start seeing things like my pillows and anti-LGBTQ ads. Well, this politician's ad was not allowed. What was so bad that Elon Musk's Twitter would not allow it? Twitter blocked our launch video because abortion advocacy, the number one issue for women, and the issue that this election will hinge on is banned political speech in Twitter promoted posts. Elon Musk bought Twitter and declared it a haven for free speech. Since then, hate speech has skyrocketed on the platform, the algorithm throws wild extremism and white supremacy into your feed, but legitimate political campaigns can't talk about abortion rights. This policy chills discourse and upholds the status quo, which on July 1st becomes a nonsensical 12-week GOP abortion ban. We filed complaints through the popper channels, but for now, the only way we can get our message out is for you to retweet our video, row day one. I'm running for lieutenant governor because the Republican plan isn't this year's 12 week abortion ban, it's next year's total abortion ban. I'm North Carolina Senator Rachel Hunt, let me explain. And until Twitter gets with the programs, your donations will help us communicate with voters somewhere else. Now, of course, people have immediately contacted, for example, the Twitter files guy, the Twitter files guy. Oh my God, he was in all these different things saying that Twitter's being political. They tagged him and his response was, what does this have to do with me? Because of course, because of course. Now, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, I've seen plenty of pro-life ads, anti-abortion ads, but huh, I guess political ads are just too far left for Twitter under Elon Musk. 